Hello, good morning. Welcome back to So Many Dice. I've had another box arrive. I know what's in said box, but I don't remember ordering said box. I went on a stag do at the weekend for my friend in London and clearly I spent some money. Now, it's not all bad because I did want these games in the box, so I've got them early. I just hope I don't do that too often because that could be dangerous. So, I'm going to open the box. You guys can see what I've got and what's been added to the collection. It says on it, battle build in a box. It's not that. It's definitely not that. Now, two of these games I wanted. You know when you just watch other people's channels and there's always games in the background and you look at them and you're like, there's certain games on the shelves that everybody seems to have. And because I'm still new at this, there's always been a couple of games where I'm like, everybody's got that game. I should get that game because clearly it's good. Um, two of these games have an 8.1 on BGG. Other one, it's in the sevens, but there's a reason that I got it. Mainly the girlfriend. She likes cutesy games, she likes the woodland creatures. So it's not Everdale because we've got that, and anybody that's seen the channel knows we've got that because she mentions it in most videos because it is her favourite game. And recently we've been playing things like Frostpunk and Cthulhu Death May Die. So I wanted something for her. So obviously I don't remember buying it, but she's gonna like it anyway. So it's a win-win, right? And now, go. And it is, it is the first one. I'm gonna open them as we go. So the first one, if you can see without the glare, is Meadow. This is the one for the girlfriend. Don't get me wrong, I want to play it as well, but I really think she's going to enjoy this one. Now, from what I understand, you end up with like a main board with a bunch of cards on, and you have these tokens that allow you to draw from the main board to add into your tableau. And as you go, each of these critters, animals, even landscapes, have like um, requirements. So you start off with a landscape. This is pretty cool. You start off with your landscape, and your landscape will have some items on it. Wow, there's actually a lot in this box. I wasn't expecting this much. You start, sorry, you start with your landscape and your landscape will have some items on and then for example you go on to your next phase which is like critters, bugs and insects that eat the berries and stuff from the landscape and then after that the next part is animals that come along and eat the bugs until you build up the tableau and meet certain requirements for points. Now I might be wrong but that's what I understand of the game so far. I haven't watched anybody play this game yet. So it'll be a brand new experience. But again, this is one that everybody seems to have on the shelf behind them in their YouTube videos. So I thought, it's got to be a must, right? The art is very, very nice. I mean, fly, flying squirrel. I mean, I'm a sucker for a squirrel. <laughs> yeah, the art looks beautiful. Very nice. These are all your landscapes, I think.
Yeah, I can see in the top, top of the corner of the cards, there's like insects. So I believe you get the grassland and then that'll produce bugs, I suppose. And then you're gonna get another critter that'll want the bug and so forth. And then you've got these things, pointing with a knife. Yeah, you've got these things that let you draft cards from the main board. And then there's a top side and a downside, so you can use it for two different options. I believe the downside is to do the campfire, and the top one is to draft the cards. Okay, yeah, hello. Like kitty cats, crows, eagles, owls. Praying mantis. Yeah, very nice. I'm gonna end up making a mess. I can see it already. I don't even know if these go there, but they are for now. This guy looks like he's from Parks. Which again, Parks, another one of the girlfriend's favorite games. What is this card index? Oh wow, it literally explains every single card. Does it? Interesting. Right, let's get all this back in and we'll get on to the next one. A lot of stuff in a little box. So that's the meadow. Cute. Next one. Next one I'm probably going to regret. I'll be honest. Marvel Champions, the living card game, or what it should be called, Marvel Champions going to bankrupt me. That is the main reason of how back I'm buying this. I keep, I keep looking at it, I look at it every time I browse at games to buy, it's always on the list. I like the idea of it, and obviously I like Marvel, most people like Marvel, right? But the fact it's never ending could get me in trouble. But again, you see this on everyone's shelf. So I thought I'd pick it up. And I know this one you basically pick. Cool. You basically pick an enemy to fight against. That box is barren. <laughs> pick an enemy to fight against. Pick your superhero that's going to go up against them. And then build the decks. From what I've heard, and I actually got told by the guy who owns the local board game shop near me, the instructions are terrible for this. So you've got all of your heroes. I mean, that's just a lot of cardboard, isn't it? But being Marvel, obviously the artwork's cool. But I can see me getting in trouble. I really, really can. I'm not going to open all of these because it's just more cards, right? But you build your villain deck, build your hero decks, and go at it. It says one to four players. I don't think I've actually seen anybody play this more than two. But I mainly got this just for myself. I can't really see Elena wanting to play this. I think this one is just for me. 
and we'll see how it gets on. But hey, it's in the collection. I am running out of room. We're actually going to turn one of these spare bedrooms in the house into an office for me so I can have more shelving and hopefully a smaller space so less echoey in the videos. I cannot wait. And the final one. Now this, this one I've been super excited for. The Lost Ruins of Arnak. Finally. Finally. I do like a Euro. It's funny that I bought this on its own. It's the amount of times I've added this to the shopping cart with the expansion. <laughs> and then not got it. It's funny that drunk me bought this without the expansion. The, this has great reviews and I've not, I've not seen one bad review for this game. Apart from the table space, apparently it's huge. And not much in the box, what is this? Tablets, bags, they're cool. What are they? Arrowheads and what look like little gems or something. And I've lost one. I'm not gonna lie, it's always a bit disappointing when you open a box and there's like zero compartments. There's nothing to keep everything in place. I don't think much of those. Those are just wooden, wooden blocks. I mean, I think I'm gonna have to get some upgrades for these, whatever these are supposed to be, because they don't look that great. I'm sure they serve a purpose and they work, but I don't know, they just look a bit babyish. A bunch of cards, <laughs> sea turtle. Nice. So, the Lost Ruins of Anak, you're going to be landing on an island and discovering dig sites. And then each dig site has like a little beastie protecting the dig site. You have to get past and pay resources to get past from what I understand. I might be wrong. And you basically work your way through the island, discovering things and fighting beasties and trying to get points. Serpent's gold. The artwork's very nice. Um, yeah, I'm, I am actually generally excited to play this game. I've heard so many good things and so many good things about the expansion. And there is another expansion coming later in the year. And I can see it selling out pretty quickly. So I'll get the base game. I won't wait too long until I get the expansion. And, well, the current expansion. And then when the new one drops, stick my name down. What is all of this? That's supposed to go together. Expedition leaders, there you go. That's that's the expansion that I'm gonna have to pick up. I've heard a lot of people say you can't even play this game without that expansion because the expansion adds so much to the game. Turn orders. I do want to. I do want to see this board. I've heard that it's huge. Stickers. Interesting. falling apart. Not a bad thing because it has to come out anyway. What is this? That's just to store resources by the look of it. There's a lot in this box and to have no... Oh, they're cool. Nice. To have no type of storage in the box is a, it's not great. 
not great, I'll be honest. I don't feel like when you buy games you should have to buy an insert. I think it should come with an insert, and if it's not very good, it's your choice to upgrade it, but it should have something in the box. That's not that big. <laughs> but what people were saying, they made it look huge. Okay, that, that's not terrible. I was thinking like, I'd need the whole thing out long ways on the table for this to fit, but not at all. And it is double sided, which is nice. So this is the side with the snake. I've heard the side with the snake is the harder side. Okay, but well, I'm going to put all this back together. Simple video just to let you know, let you know what's added to the collection so you can follow along and see how we're getting on. I mean, I don't know how many games we've got now, but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. 33, 34, 35 games, pretty much in about, what, four months? I think we're doing okay. I haven't included season one of Final Girl in that, so there is all, all of that on top. I think with Final Girl, you have to just count them all as one. You can't just count the individuals. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm rambling again. Thank you guys for watching. Cheers for checking out the channel. We'll do some playthroughs of this eventually. Catch you in the next one.